When you have a particular degree of magnetism, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to attract. That's a fact. Attention. Mm -hmm. The thing that's crazy about me, I think you already know this, mm. I hate attention. Mm. But anywhere I go, <laughs> it's like, shing, spotlight on, bro. What you going to do? And then everybody back like, oh, you so grumpy and you, you bad mannered. I'm not bad mannered to anybody. I'm very respectful, very humble. I just don't like people trying to act like I'm some sort of superstar, like you know me. Like, look, greet me like, yo, peace. I'm so-and-so-and-so. -and -so. How you doing? I'm so-and-so. Let's build. Let's get to know each other. Don't hit me with the born perfection. My man, yo, peace, God. And I'm like, yo, who is this guy? <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? No, that happens all the time, guys. To me, like, like, and, and, and it's like what? It's like yo, and see, like I said, when you attract a certain degree of attention, and that comes your way regularly, you have to start deflecting it. See, that's, but see, you, it's, it's about if being not, if being you're not good at deflecting it. But also being comfortable being a magnet. Nobody's ever comfortable being a magnet. <laughs> nah, 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 this is a good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Nah, that's not true. It's not for, uh, that's not, not true. Nobody's ever comfortable being a magnet. They're comfortable with what comes with being a magnet. Mm. Until they start drawing the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they wise enough to even recognize, some people don't give a fuck. No, but that's the like... thing. See, see, look, look, look. It's like a child that wants attention, right? This is not directing anyone in particular. I'm just saying, regarding what you said, the child wants attention. You're not paying attention to the child. The child starts breaking up shit in the house. <laughs> hmm. Now, you got to pay attention to me. You understand? That's all it is. It's the same sort of thing. You know, like pay attention cat. to me or I'm a, I'm a dog, dog to potential, a cat. Uh, whatever. The reality is... A woman. I ain't, I ain't going that far. Uh, because, <laughs> you know. Look, look, look. They throw temper tantrums regardless. They could be satisfied and just say, I'm going to test this nigga today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to say that that's the case. I'm definitely mm. not going to agree with that one. But that's a different situation altogether. It's just so about the science of attention. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They vibrate <laughs> on a different wavelength Yo. when it comes to attention, brother. Because they got to eat. I'm they telling you, eat. it's a different thing. And it's a different type of attention for each situation, man. Hmm. I know no situation other than that that's like that. Women are unique in that area. Hmm. What I'm speaking about specifically is, you know, because they, they they get atten they they get their attention for for their their substance, it, the attention like, gives them their su like, substance. Like, like, that's how like they, I said, that's how they eat. Just, like yeah, I that, that's said, yeah. Specifically with them, that's a very unique science, right? And what I'm specifically speaking about is people that indulge in the spotlight that don't like the spotlight. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You don't like the spotlight. But if the spotlight is showing you love at that particular moment, it's peace. It's great. You're going to appreciate it. You're going to embrace it. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. You get a celebrity that's loving the spotlight. And so they go on tour and come back and they got a stalker in their mansion. Like, mm. yo, wait, what the fuck is going on? What part of the game is this? I got people in my crib. Mm. Why y'all in my crib? Because we stalking you, because we like what you do, because we love your music. And that's no reason to stalk me. Yeah, that's all the reasons to stalk you. <laughs> because what you're not realizing is the degree of magnetism that you put out attracts people from all different degrees. 
Now, we were speaking about women, right? Mm. So I'll put it to you this way. You get a female. I don't care what she may be wearing. From the time she stepped across the threshold of her home into the street, she could be dressed like Raggedy Ann and Andy. There's going to be people that's going to be attracted to her that's going to throw passes at her. It's going to holler at her like she's the most beautiful person they've seen in their life. Mm. It's a reality. This is all day for a female. Mm. Right? No matter what she looks like. No matter what she looks like. There's some motherfuckers out there that's going to say <laughs> she is the greatest. Mm. And they're going to be on her like butter and popcorn. Mm. You understand me? So consider this. The one dude that say, hey, bitch, come here, and decide to grab one or slap on the ass, and she don't call the police, and she say, stop playing. You got to consider something. Mm -hmm. She must like that dude. She oh, must man. be attracted to that dude. But all the dudes all day that been hollering the at her. The motherfucking layers and shit, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Ooh, we. See, all the attention. Listen, a woman, like I said, she come out of her house. No matter if she got booger snots in her eyes, somebody gonna like her, be attracted to her. She gonna be batting them off at 100 degrees a minute. Mm. If she not interested, she gonna be ignoring motherfuckers. Some of them she might be snobbish or nasty towards, right? But that one person that she's attracted to, he could say or do the most obnoxious shit. Mm -hmm. But she wants attention from that particular person, so this particular degree of attention, she's willing to accept. Mm. Because that's what she wants anyway. Good, bad, or indifferent. Here I am. Pay attention to me. See, that's not the same thing as a person that don't like the spotlight. Like, I might have something to say. I might be... Uh, how now I said it, a ghetto celebrity, hood movie star, you know, a jailhouse legend, whatever the fuck, put a motherfucking moniker on it. The reality is, I could be anything along those lines, right? And somebody said, you know, I want to hear your story, I want to hear what you got to say, I want to talk to you because, you know. You grew up in this area, or you've been through this, or you know such and such. And you sit down and start talking to this person. And you tell them, you know, from your living and your circumstances and what you know. You know, but you keeping it clean, borderline, like, look, everybody need to know all the details. I'm just telling you the basics. Then you get somebody that come along after you did what you did and come and say some shit like, yeah, this dude don't know what you're talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, uh. It's like, whoa, I didn't do this. I didn't discuss this. I didn't come to the agreement or conclusion to even have this discussion for me to wind up at odds with somebody that's telling me I don't know what I'm talking about when I lived how I did in this particular zone. If Mega did this. Did this.